I'm going to do an exercise for Siamese Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. Siamese Mahjong is when you play two hands against one opponent. It's a lot of fun and it's very challenging. You can play online now too at SiamesMahjong.com. When you play online, you have to make quick decisions. So I like to practice by doing random pulls. This gives me time to train myself to identify the strength in a hand quickly. If you have a set of tiles at home, give it a try. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three random pulls. We will alternate between player one and player two. So we'll get 28 tiles for the first one, then 27, and then 28. We have a joker, a flower, a pair of white dragons, and a green dragon. For winds, we have northeast, west, pairs of north and east. In cracks, we have three, five, six, seven, pair of fives. In bams, three, seven, eight, nine, pair of eights. In dots, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, a pair of six dot, pair of seven dot, so those are the multiples. White dragon, northeast, five, eight, six, seven. Five, six, seven, eight pairs, different suits. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I would leverage the consecutive multiples and then play a wind and dragon hand. So I would probably try for five, six, or no, let's see, five, six, or six, seven, six, seven, eight. So this I'm not sure about yet. Six, seven, six, seven, eight. I could maybe use this down here to help here. The other thing we could maybe do is five, six, seven, eight, or five, six, seven, eight. And then up here, news with dragons. News with dragons. No, no flower needed here. So let's look at this down here. There's a lot of tiles in there. We're not going to be able to keep them all. So let's see here. The other thing I was thinking of was we could do six, seven, eight news pair hand or six, seven, eight or seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine news pair hand and do five, six, seven, eight. Maybe what we could do is focus on a pair hand, news pair hand, and five, six, seven, eight. This could be joker bait. So let's see, news six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. That might work. Five, six, seven, eight. Joker bait. Six, seven. This would use all but one multiple. If we did 
six, seven, six, seven, eight. Oh, let's see. Put these over here. Six, seven, six, seven, eight concealed. We could maybe play news with dragons. I probably would hold the flower. If we get twos, we could maybe play news with the year. In all these scenarios, we did use this with a potential seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine news consecutive hand. We didn't use any of those throughout. So I would stay flexible. I would keep all these tiles. Discard those first, see how this develops. Build around the strength, give yourself options. Keep tiles that support the strength of the hand. When you run out of discards, whittle down. Because we have too, a little too much going on in here, but we've got options. We have a flower, a dragon. We have winds, northeast, west, pair of west. In cracks, we have one, three, four, six, seven, nine. In dots, we have two, three, four, five, seven, pairs of fours and sevens. In bams, we have two, three, five, six, seven, eight, pairs of threes and eights. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I think I would try for three, four pair hand and news with consecutive tiles. News with six, seven, eight pair hand or three, four, three, four. And we're light here, obviously we need a four bam in there. So because we have 11 discards, including a pair here, I would come up with a plan B for these tiles. So a plan B, well, let's reassess actually, because I do see two, three, four, and like numbers with sevens maybe. So let's see if we can use more multiples. I don't know if we can. So let's just see here. We have like numbers with sevens right there. And here's two, three, four. There's two, three, four. We do have two, three. Okay, news two, three, four. Let's see, we have eight, six, seven, eight, six, seven, eight, six, seven, eight, seven, seven, eight, six, seven, eight, second hand down, a lot of six, seven, eight here. Six, seven, seven, six, seven. Two, three, four. Okay, so here's two, three, two, three, three, four, three, four, three. Three, four, three. 
I think I would focus on six, seven, eight, and two through four. Maybe pair hands, maybe not. This one was kind of hard, I think, but these tiles, not helpful. So we have four to discard before we really have to choose. I think that's what I would do here. If you would do something different, write it in the comment section below. Four jokers, pair of flowers. In cracks, we have one, two, five, seven, eight, nine. Pairs of one, two, and eight. In BAMs, five, six, seven, nine, pair of sevens. Dots, three, nine, pair of nines. We have an east and a south, green dragon pair, and a white dragon. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on? And what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, the first thing I thought of is we got to do a quint, but we do not have strong multiples. We have pairs. If I were to do a quint, I would maybe try for the first one with flowers, dragons, and one of the multiples. But then I thought about another potential quint with consecutive tiles in like numbers, seven, eight, and nine. Seven, eight pairs, quints of nines. Then I thought, what about a concealed hand and consecutive run with opposite dragons? So let's count discards. So if we did a quint with dragons, let's say, We could do that, either, either ones or twos, quint. Then down here, we could maybe try seven, eight, seven, eight with nines, seven, eight with quints of nines. That would leave 10 discards. So then I thought maybe we could do one, two, three opposite dragons, then seven, eight, seven, eight, seven, eight, nine. Joker bait with flowers, which is risky. And that would be eight discards with Joker bait. Push for double mahjong for value. I think that's the way I would play this. Maybe keep the flowers for a while to see if a quint shows up. But two easy hands, double mahjong, can take the game. I would start by discarding wins. Maybe keep the nines. Let those go first and see what develops. We do have a gap, but we can use jokers. Pung, pair, pung, pung, pung. Second hand from the bottom. And then this would be the last hand under consecutive run. We could also maybe do seven, eight, nine, second hand down. That would be a pretty quick win, I think. Simple hands, but shoot for double mahjong. With those scenarios, we didn't use any of these tiles. So 
I think I would keep all of these, discard those and see what develops. When you first get your drawn hands, look for the strength of the hand. The strength of the hand could be either multiples or a predominant pattern. If you start there and gather tiles that support the strength of your hand, you can set yourself up for success for that game. If you have a set of tiles at home, I hope you give it a try. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.